Alright, so I'm Kim Neiswanger, the first grade teacher at Roosh School. And every year, my first grade class uh, publishes books. So we go through the writing process. We start at brainstorming and we go all the way through to publishing. And this year, we're really excited because we have chosen the book patch to publish our books. And we're in the middle of our writing process. We'll soon be publishing our books. And we are excited about the book patch publishing our books. The name of my book is a field trip book. A princess and a prince. The name of my book is Best Friend. The title of my book is The Circus. My title of my book is um, The Puppy and the Bird. My book is about a cruise ship and a sailboat. The Princess in the Night. Adventure with Spot. Um, it's about a, a wolf. The process has taken five weeks to go through and um, the kids are at different spots of the process at different times they get frustrated and they quit writing and then they'll do some illustrations or they'll just completely quit writing and read um, and then come back to it. It's a, it's a frustrating process for them and then when they get to the end they are so excited because they have a finished product. Well the field trip book is about um, a teacher and two brothers that are um, going, or they are in high school and they are going on a field trip. A dragon came and blew fire in the castle. Wow. It's about a princess and a knight, and the princess got captured by a dragon. Wow. They get mixed up because there's two cruise ships and the and the sailboat can can't find out which one is his friend. A cheetah who's trying to figure out what a what um a pink thing on a mushroom is. Mm. And when and um a hunter is chasing him. So they go on um, to try to find food and they don't find food so they have to go try to find um, another place to go find food. Two flags that went to um, Hawaii. And then we have an author's reception at the end where we, um, they get, uh, each kid gets to read their book to their audience. I like best was um, that that there's so many obstacles in it and you just keep, get to keep writing. I like best about my book, doing the illustrations. Oh, uh, doing the illustrations. It was fun because I love writing. It was some hard work um, writing the illustrations. I like doing the title illustration. Writing in the illustrations. So we've partnered for the last three years with um, Southern Oregon University for their um, Oregon Writing Project. Uh, Margaret Della Santina has come in every year and helped us um, publish our books and go through the process. Uh, keep on writing and don't give up. You can just keep going and don't stop until you get it right. So just work hard on your books and if you start one, you'll want to keep writing more books. And my advice is once you start writing a book, you never want to stop because it gives your hands a lot of exercise. Just let your hand take you where, where it wants to go and just let it write. Um, I would use less illustrations, like I would give some other people who doesn't have enough some of my sheets of paper. I think I'm going to write 88 more books when I'm grown. Excellent.